and welcome back to Terraria. Haha. <laughs> now, last time I finally, finally got the, uh, what's his name? Skeletron Prime. I finally killed Skeletron Prime. And I got him dead. He is dead. And I got the Broken Drax finally made. Got the, what was it? Souls of Fright off of uh, Skeletron Prime. And finally managed to make this 200 pickaxe power which means we can finally mine up that green crap that is down there in the jungle I also got this thing Skeletron Prime mask which is just a vanity item puts a skull on my head <laughs> kind of nice I guess but uh yeah I guess I'll leave it there for now but I also picked this up fleeting vitamin immunity to weakness I don't remember where I got that I think I got that if I, looking back at the episode, yes, last episode, I think I had that at the start. So I must have picked that up while I was still farming the uh, souls I needed to make the thing to summon. But I can combine this vitamins with armor polish over here at my, uh, whatever the hell this thing is called, the combination station. Ah, here it is. Armor bracing, immunity to weakness, and broken armor. By combining these two. Now the reason I am doing this, the reason I'm even showing this, is because this is part of a very long chain of combinations of items that you can put together. And uh come on, come here. And it creates this hugely awesome item, the Ankh Charm. Grants immunity to most debuffs. Now I do not know how much of everything else I already have. Uh, I've got the armor bracing now. I still need the medicated bandage, which means I need the poison and bleeding thing, which I do not think I have. The slow and confusion, silence and curse, and darkness. So I still have a lot of pieces to find. Now, they drop ran Now, all the pieces I need for this drop randomly off, off of various uh, monsters. A lot of them come off mimics. Ooh, I already have the plan. Very nice. And Ankh of Wind. Oh, I don't know what that's even for. Uh, lucky, lucky plan. Huh. Immunity to poison, which means I already have whatever the hell that needs. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wasn't there something I needed this for? Didn't I already have that? Uh, there was something else. Uh, immunity to watch. Compass or something. I do not remember. But I could combine some of this stuff. I don't remember what it was. I just want to do a quick check. Because I thought I had something I could use. Ah, here it is. GPS. The GPS. A compass, a depth meter, and a platinum watch. Because I found the compass off of somebody. I do not remember who. And the depth meter I actually made a long time ago. And I made this just for this because the GPS shows position and tells the time. Which is very nice. Let's put that on for now. Position, 700 feet, 70 feet east. Uh, east of spawn, I'm guessing. 230 feet, 312 feet above, and uh, yeah, that's the time. Which is very nice. I, I actually like having that. Unfortunately, it is more or less worthless. So... In comparison to what I already have on. I mean, have it, having that, knowing exactly what time it is, is very nice. But I just wanted to make that real quick. So wait, it, I'm guessing there's something else. Let's see, what else was it? I want to take a quick look. Some of this stuff I uh, picked up randomly while I was killing things. And what? Ooh! Ooh, Spectre Boots, Ankh, and Aglet creates lightning boots. So I can create that right now. I already have Spectre Boots. Haha! Uh -huh. I knew it. I knew I picked up... I don't even remember where the hell I picked that up. I think I got it off one of the mummies. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. So I can combine that with my warding boots. And here we go. Lightning boots. So that, that, and that. Uh, I completely forgot I had that set up. Lightning boots allows flight work and run incredibly fast now. So, the question is, is this better than the jetpack? 
So, how far? No. Uh, double jump. Not quite as good as the jetpack for flight, but how fast can we run now? And oh yeah, I made a little house out of those rainbow bricks I picked up the last time off that random slime. Uh, ooh, now this is moving a lot faster. Ah, here we go, come out, come here. Die, 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 die. Now I don't know if these guys can actually drop the black lenses. I need the black lens so I can make that item I wanted. But yeah, I am getting distracted. I've gotten distracted, horribly distracted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't, I cannot believe I actually forgot about all of that stuff. I mean, I set up, I made all that stuff for the, uh, GPS, and, uh, I put that aside because I knew I needed an aglet when I found one. But, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick this in here for now, since, wait, maybe I should just carry it with me. That way, it's always good to have it. That way I can just stick it on there, see what time it is, what, uh, position I'm at. And I'll just have it on me. There we go. So, uh, I de need a lot more stuff before I can make that super awesome thing out of those maps and everything. So, yeah, what is it I want to do today? Uh, hmm. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Uh, I wanted to show off what I picked up, and I guess I got distracted by that. Uh, so what should I be doing? Should I fight the uh, destroyer again, maybe? Get some more hallowed bars? Or should I take my brand new broken Drax, head back to the jungle, and try and get some of that green stuff? Because I think the uh, bars you get from the green... Ooh, yo, come on. Come here, you stupid eyeball. Come here, come here. I got a... Uh, was it? Oh, just normal lens. Too bad you can't turn those into the black lens. Cause I need the black lens in order to make the uh, thing to summon the uh, twins to fight for me. That would be very nice. But yeah. <laughs> I think the... Uh, what's it called? Chlorophyll? Chlorophyte? Whatever that green ore is. Makes a uh, better armor than the hallowed armor. Or equally good armor. Or more of a side-grade armor, maybe. I'm not really sure. But I think the fact that it takes hallowed, hallowed uh, ingots in order to make the, the Drax itself, and you need the Drax in order to get the Chlorophyte, tells me you probably uh, get some better armor with uh, the Chlorophyte stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm going to head down there and hopefully uh, not run into Plantera because I don't really want to run into Plantera right now. What I do want to do is see if we can actually mine up this green stuff. Now, uh, do I have... Ah, there we go. Aha! Here we go. We finally got some Chlorophyte ore. And I can finally get rid of this stuff that's been uh, bugging me. Just, just been sitting here in the middle of this shaft. Ooh, is that something? No. And, on top of that, I can also see about getting some more hearts. So, is this chlorophyte? I think so. Yes! More chlorophyte. Haha. <laughs> now, I don't know how much I'm actually going to need in order to make the better armor. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, die, did I die, die. Yeah, I'm gonna grab up as much of this stuff as I can. Hopefully kill that guy. Summon my little imp. And hopefully get a bunch of this stuff, make some better armor, and then maybe uh, we can go and see if we can find Plantera. Because uh, I'm not really sure how to fight Plantera. And there is a uh, chest right here. Did I already find this chest? No, I didn't, apparently. Must have completely skipped it. Huh. But yeah, uh, let's see if we can find Plantera's bulb. Because apparently Plantera just randomly spawns here. Uh, ooh, is that Chlorophyte? Chlorophyte! Oh, 
Now, I don't know, but I think... Is this a core fight? No. Ah, oh, it's Cobalt. Damn you, Cobalt, turning green like that. Uh, well, it's not exactly the same shade of green. Uh, chlorophyll, white, chlorophyte, or is a bit more green green than the, uh, set part? No, it's just, uh, no. It's a bit more green green, like that. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, but this goes so fast. Uh, but yeah, I think this is more chlorophyte. Looks like it. <gasps> and there's a heart. There's a heart. Oh, I nearly missed that. I was too busy focusing on the core fight. But yeah, there's a heart down there. So let's see if we can get to that heart. Ah, boom! Ah, life fruit. Yummy, yummy life fruit. Delicious life fruit. Yum. Even the next few. Yep. There's a Mimic. Mimics actually drop some good stuff. And they have a chance to drop some of those good set piece items. Like the Violet Star Cloak. Causes stars to fall when injured. Aha! Uh -huh, something I needed. Because you can combine that with something I have no idea what. But you can combine it with some stuff to create some awesome stuff. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I need to look it up. <laughs> I'll ask the guide once I get back. So, anything else over here? Don't see anything. Any, uh, life crystals, life hearts. <gasps> There's a life heart! <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes! Life fruit! Five more! Just need five more. And there's a nice big, uh, chunk of, a. Uh... Ooh, here we go. I already have a way up here. Very nice. Any hearts? Hearts? Oh, but there's some chlorophyll right there, right where I want it. Die. Stupid thing. Stupid skeleton. You're not even really a challenge anymore. You're more of an annoyance than, uh, anything else. Ow, 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 no. Ow! Oh, that hurt. That hurt a great deal. <laughs> Damn it, that hurt a lot. Oh, okay. Well, this gives me a chance to ask the guide how many of uh, this chlorophyte do I actually need? E six of them for one bar. So that's 60 times 10 for 10 of them. So, I have enough for 20, and I'm guessing if it's anything like the others, I need around 50, 60 of them, so... Ooh, that's gonna be a lot. So, around 300? Holy crap, I am gonna need a lot of chlorophyte. And this. Ooh! Star Cloak, plus the Necklace of Invincibility. Uh-huh. Uh, Honeycomb, increase releases bees when damaged. Huh. And releases bees. Ooh, I haven't found any honeycomb. I'm guessing I get that from, like, bees and stuff. But yeah, I can combine this with my cross necklace right friggin' now. Oh, hell yeah, I'll do that. And I might actually put it on. Because, uh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this, I can combine it with that. And I instantly have... The Star Veil. Causes stars to fall and increases length of invincibility when inc when taking damage. Very nice. And it's hasty. Hasty. Hasty? Increased my movement speed even more. Very nice. And it's also material, I think, so I can combine it with something. Maybe? Can I do that? Crafting? Combine it even further? No. But, very nice. Uh, should I... Fire blocks. Eh. What can I combine this with? Ooh, the Ankh charm. Ah, so I can combine that even further. The only real question is, should I have that on or that? Hmm. I really want to have that on, just because. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do is uh, dump out my inventory real quick. Oh. There we go. 
that's what two more two more life fruits bop and bop so I've got just got to get three more now the only real problem with this <laughs> thing is that it uh summons these stars but they're un <laughs> underground is not quite as a uh, useful so yeah I mean it's still good but the stars tend to hit the walls which is unfortunate uh, let's see any other Ooh, no this is a normal heart uh, let's see Ooh, there's another one there's another one I see it I see it it's right there it's right here boom and ah yes only need what two more now two more life hearts uh, life fruits whatever they're called uh, see what I mean it's uh it's nice don't get me wrong having the ooh, having them show up like that but the fact that they're we're underground right now just kind of uh negates their usefulness because ooh, see it just keeps hitting the walls which is unfortunate but uh yeah I mean it's still nice still useful just not quite as useful. And I am not seeing Plantera's bulb anywhere. Apparently. See what I mean? <laughs> oh. See, it just doesn't work very well underground. Oh. Okay, where was it I died before? It was over here, wasn't it? <gasps> I just saw it. I just saw that. I saw it. Don't yell at me. I saw it right there. Another life fruit. Oh, yummy, yummy life fruit. Die. Die. Die, 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 die. And now I can mine up all this stuff. Yes. So I think I'm going to go for at least 300 before I get call it quits and go back to make some armor. Yeah. One more life fruit means I only need one more. Very nice. <laughs> Here it is. Here's where I died. Okay, well... It looks like this is going to be my 300 right here. Finally have the 300 I need. Yes, there we go. Not only that, I just picked up my last life fruit. Yum. 500 hit points. My life is now maxed out. So let us head back and see what we can actually do. So first off, I am going to empty out my inventory because it is full of crap. So yeah, one second. Okie dokie, there we go. Just enough room so I can actually start crafting some stuff. So I think I just need six chlorophyte to make chlorophyte bars. And then 50 should be enough, right? 50? Or not? Oh no, I have a feeling I might just be a little short. Huh. But at least it'll give us enough to look. Look at all this stuff. Claymore, 76 damage. Holy crap. Saber, 50 melee damage, which isn't all that much better than my Cutlass. Huh. Chlorophyte, Warhammer, Jackhammer. Huh. Hammer power. Great Axe, Chainsaw. Oh, a chainsaw would be very nice. Pickaxe, Drill. 200% pickaxe power. Roughly the same. But yeah, here we go. Greaves takes 18. The male takes 24. So that's 36. 37, 38, 48. Right? So that's 24, 34. Oh, no. That's 42. 44, 54, no, I am still short. I am still short from a full thing. Hmm. But at least I was able to look at it. So 13 defense, 25 defense on that one. Maximum mana, melee damage, range damage. Ooh. Oh, but look at that helmet. I really want that helmet. So, da increased damage, increased critical strike. Ooh, okay. Well, um, hmm. What I think I'm going to do now 
is I'm going to go grab a bit more Glorified, damn it. So I can make this set, because I really want to make this set. Oh, damn. Uh, be right back, I guess. Okie dokie, here we go. Finally got the last 24 I needed. So this should be enough to make the full set. And I think I'm just going to go with the full melee. Even though the uh, range damage would probably be better. Because, yeah, oh, ranged or melee. I like the defense. I really do like the defense. So yeah, I might make a second helmet at some point. But for now, the mask. Ah, uh, here we go. Mask. Uh, chest piece. And the boots. Ah, uh, there we go. So the full set. Increased critical chance, increased movement. Summons a powerful leaf crystal to shoot at nearby enemies. Holy crap, I got a, I got a crystal thing. It's on top of my head. <laughs> so that's just there right now? Forever? So increase damage, increase crit, dam melee damage, melee crit, and movement speed. So, I now have a crystal above my head. Let me take this stupid hat off. Uh. <laughs> Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, if it wasn't for the fact that it's daytime, I would uh, be able to see if this actually works. So, how? what's the range on this is my only question. Uh, ooh, if I go down, I might actually be able to fight some unicorns or something. Unicorns! Come along, unicorns! Any unicorns down here? <laughs> Look at that! Oh, and it fires pretty fast, too. So this crystal will automatically attack anyone that comes near me. Just like my little imp. And I don't have to summon it. It's just there all the time. And it auto-attacks. I don't have to do anything, it just auto-attacks. Oh, and it does not count as a minion. Which means I can have my little imp right here and the crystal at the same time. Which means if I ever do find a black lens, I'll be able to summon the twins and stuff like that. So yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh, not only does it look awesome, it also auto-attacks for me. Very nice. Oh, so glad I got this instead of wasting time making the... Uh, hallowed armor. But yeah, look at this. It's like having a little mobile turret on top of your head. Look at that. It auto-attacks. Look. <laughs> oh. So yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, I have no idea how long this has been going on. Holy crap. Swarms of uh, pixies. But uh, yeah, no idea how long this has been going on. So I think it's about time to cut it. call it quits for today. So, uh, yeah, this has been Bobson, this has been Terraria, and this has been the Chlorophyte Armor set. Me going around and grabbing up all that stuff I needed to get it. And this is what it does! Oh, look at this! I love this! So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, which I might actually try and find, uh, I'll look up how to fight uh, Plantera and try to find it and fight it next time, maybe, if I can figure out how to do that. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.